Arashi, I'm inside the abandoned subway, headed your way. Copy that. Hurry if you can. I'll continue investigating the area. Later then. Hey, Arashi! <sighs> she just does whatever she wants. Like you're one to talk, Asane. The enemy is attacking with electricity. You'll be shocked and unable to move if it hits you. Let's keep going. That was quick. With that oil, it'll be hard to move if it gets on you, so be careful. Useless. It's over. Careful. Almost reached the coordinates. Copy that. I'm getting reports about a gust of wind blowing through the city. What? Yes. It's not causing any damage, but apparently it's unsettling. I just thought you should know. That gust. I don't think it'll be coming back. I'm betting it was Arashi. She was probably running all over the place looking for traces of Major General Fubuki. Despite what she was saying, she must be really worried. If I can just find an opening... Arashi! Kasane, what took you so long? I came here as soon as I could. I'll save my questions for later. First, we have to do something about this. Yeah. Okay, now we can keep going. Is Major General Fubuki up ahead? Probably. It looks like there was a big fight here. The damage seems recent. They just won't let up. What gives? They're not going to stop me. Isn't that the other we're supposed to take down? Give it to me, Arsh. Let's hurry up and take care of them. This area is particularly in danger of caving in. Useless. Check me. Understood. You be careful, too. If it's caved in ahead, Fubuki won't be able to move. So 
she is worried. We need to hurry for her peace of mind. Got it! Well. Kasane, normal human speed can't... Check. Keep up with that other. Use FAS. I'm off. Useless. It's over. It's up to you. Leave it to me. Fubuki! Arashi? What are you doing here? I could ask you the same thing. What happened? I was investigating the area when the extinction belt suddenly descended and jammed my transmissions. Then the others suddenly appeared and destroyed the path, trapping me here. I knew I didn't need to come all this way, honestly. No, you still saved me. Thank you, Kasane. I'm sorry to have bothered you, sis. Yeah, no kidding. Now I'm exhausted. Sorry. I guess this makes it the second time you saved me. Mm. Did something similar to this happen in the past? Yes, back when I was a kid, and scouted by the OSF. Arashi threw a big tantrum using her power, and told them they couldn't take me with them. What? But it's obligatory. It's no use trying to change their mind. So why? The OSF and death go hand in hand. Sometimes we need to accept the irrational. I might be able to handle that, but I knew full well that someone earnest like him wasn't equipped to deal with it. And those who aren't equipped to deal with it have a high chance of dying needlessly. So I thought I'd save everyone the trouble and stop him from being enlisted in the first place. <sighs> Although in the end, I wasn't able to change anything. Just a child's tantrum. That was the biggest waste of my entire life. My brother ended up enlisting in the OSF and somehow even managed to climb up to regiment commander. On the other hand, I got injured, got the top brass on my back, making me run PR. Just the worst. Injured? So you got hurt? Yeah, I did something really stupid. I used my hypervelocity and tore my limbs off when I hit a wall. What? Don't worry, they fixed them right up so there's barely even a scar. But like you said, my pointless action didn't yield me anything. Just like today. Neither of them were pointless to me. Fabuki? You risked your life to protect me. You used your tiny body to shield me. Ever since I saw that, I wanted to become someone who could risk their life for another. And while you... Letters? Did you forget? You wrote me letters as part of your physical therapy treatments for your hands. That's why I started writing letters too. It's like a hobby of mine now. Really? It helps me relax. There's something else it helps me with, too. It helps me remember the time you defended me. It really cheers me up. So it wasn't pointless. Huh. So about today... Do you really think it was pointless? Yeah, I do. I see. I really hate wasted effort, but that doesn't mean it's all bad. It's fine doing something like this once in a while. It's a little embarrassing how it goes against everything I believe in, though.
Kasane, can we talk? What is it? I know this is cruel of me to ask, but could you tell me where Naomi died? <sighs> I heard about what happened to her, and I wanted to visit the last place she stood before she died. Of course, you don't have to tell me if it's too painful for you. It's Mizu Hagawa. We can go together. Are you sure? Yes. I think you should see it too. Sorry, and thank you. Naomi died around here. This is where she fought the Togetsu soldiers. She and the rest of the people transformed into others. They saved us when we had nowhere to run, at the... It must have been hard for you. Just looking at this place brings back painful memories. Naomi told me something back then, though. That she was happy to have been alive, and to perform one last act of humanity. Hmm... Naomi was in pain, but she found a reason to live. That's why I won't let this keep me down. I'll survive anything the world wants to throw at me. I see. Naomi lived her life to the fullest. Gemma, are you crying? Hmm? Oh, looks like I am. <laughs> Sorry. You better not say you want to die, too. Don't worry, I won't. I already decided I wouldn't waste my life anymore. I'm sure Naomi wouldn't be happy if I did something like that. Good. I'm relieved to hear you say that. Why did you want to come here anyway? I wanted to confirm what I was feeling. To figure out what I want to do with the rest of my life. I won't let anyone go through what Naomi did ever again. However, this nation's issues are too great. Suo and Seiron are no different. They use and discard the innocent for their own gain. You're right. I'm sure there are people like Naomi suffering somewhere in this country, even now. I was hesitating because of the size of the opposition. But learning about Naomi's last moments here has solidified the path I need to take. Now that the government's actions have been made public, the system is slowly changing. I want to help create a new system to make up for past mistakes. That's the least I can do for Naomi. I'm glad you have a goal. I'm sure she would be happy. It sounds like you'll still have plenty to do after retirement. Actually, I had another idea about my retirement. Although it might be a little conceited. If a retired OSF soldier can live a long life and do something to help society, then I want to become the model case of a psionic successfully aging. That's impressive. You must have drawn upon your vast experience to come up with an idea like that. No, I didn't come up with it on my own. It's something I thought after talking with you. Really? Remember when I had you taste my cooking the other day? That helped me gain a little confidence that I had more to offer than my ability to fight. Even if I lose my power, there are still so many new things for me to try. I was worried about what would happen after retirement, but now I'm almost looking forward to it. People really can change. He does look happier than when he first handed me Naomi's letter. Life goes on in this world, even without her. For both Gemma and me. I feel like I should start something new too. Really? Do you want to try cooking with me? It's pretty interesting. I'll think about it. You move so efficiently in battle. That's really impressive, considering how little combat experience you have. Although, while it's great that you don't hesitate, just don't be too reckless. Sometimes you need to pause and think. Yes, you're right. Thank you for the advice. I'll be sure to remember that. Ah, uh, no, I didn't mean to lecture you. Maybe this is because of my age. Thank you. 
impressed I am. Is something wrong? I mean, I think you're amazing too. I'm sorry I made you all worry. Are you alright? I'm fine, and we have to hurry back to the Kunad Gate. We're going back there again? Do you know what we can do about it, Mother? Yes. We must get rid of the entanglements in the Kunad Gate, or the world will eventually be destroyed. Entanglements? What are they? We should head to the Kunad Gate before I explain it further. Okay. Then we'll go to the Kunad Highway. Everyone get ready. Mom, you can have a seat here. Thank you. You got so big. Huh? <laughs> that was sudden. You joined the OSF. How's Kaito? Are you getting along with your older brother? He's good. We don't really get along anymore. Oh. Can you tell me what's happening in your time, in the present? And that's basically it. The only other thing is the existence of the Kunad Gate. Thank you. Along with Babe's data, I think I understand a lot now. Are we all Oh, yeah. We are. Let's go, Mother. Is something the matter? I'm just happy you turned into such a fine young lady. It's not my place to say that, though. I'm sorry I left you behind and ran away. It's okay. You don't need to apologize. They were trying to kill you, and I don't remember much about being in Togetsu anyway. And after I came to Suo, I had my big sister. Then I have to say thank you to your sister. I'm sure she'll be happy. You still call me mother, even after everything. Things are moving fast, but I'm hoping you can tell us how to deal with the Kunad Gate. You said something about entanglements? Ultimately, Yuito and Kasane have to enter the Kunad Gate and unravel the entanglements. What I'm telling you here is just a concept. The traces interfering with time should look like tangled red threads. According to Togetsu's theory, whenever you jump through time, a dimensional hole like the Kunad Gate is created, but it should then disappear. The reason this hasn't disappeared is because Yuito and Kasane's powers resonated. The Kunad Gate is different from the theorized gates in that it's persisting in a distorted state. Using a distorted gate for a time jump creates entanglements. If you can unravel those entanglements, you can close the Kunad Gate. Distorted? I don't really get it yet. But when you say, enter the Kunad Gate, do you mean go into that hole in the sky? That strange space. Is it inside the Kunad Gate? You saw it too, when the gate first opened. Oh, that place with all the weird images? That's right. That strange space that Kasane mentioned exists inside the Kunad Gate. It is a concept of space that only exists for those with the Red String's power. Togetsu called it the Kronos Terminal. Perhaps it's a kind of station, or junction point, for traveling through time. Hmm. So only Yuito and Kasane can perceive it. I guess that explains why we didn't notice it when we jumped to the future. 
When there is time contact between 2020 when the gate was made and another time, entanglements are created. Time contact? Is that any different from time travel? It's a broader definition of time travel. Even if you don't arrive at that time, even if you just attempt. Basically, if someone with the Red String's power even touches that time, there is a trace. That is time contact. The only way to actually see which times have entanglements is for the two of you to go and check for yourselves. So I guess the only thing we can do is leave it to Yuito and Kasane. Even if we find the entanglements, we won't know how to unravel them until we see them. The Kronos Terminal is conceptualized by your powers, so you'll know how to unravel them. Not with reason, but with intuition. Also, I'm weak, but I can use the red strings, so I'll support you from here. Okay, so we just need to use the red strings again and enter the Kronos Terminal. I'm going with you this time. You don't know what kind of dangers will be there. Make sure you're ready before you go. If it gets dangerous, you both come right back. Don't worry, we will. Just take care of my mother. Keep her safe. It's all right. Don't worry. We will protect Wakana. All right, we don't have much time. Let me know when you're ready. I got the hang of using the red strings now. Yuito's here this time. I have to do this. Right. Good to go, Kasane? I'm ready. Focus your consciousness together. Picture the site of the Kronos Terminal. To the Kronos Terminal. We will unravel those entanglements. It looks like we actually made it. Are each of those images connected to different times? We can't just stand around. We have to search for the entanglements. <laughs> I guess it's nothing new when it's your third time. So, how do we find them? I don't feel anything yet. This is... It must be Mother. Is she guiding us? Let's go! Others? How are they inside the Kronos Terminal? Calm down. That place is built from your consciousness. It's an imaginary world. It is a very unstable place. Your fear and anxiety, all of your emotions affected. The memories of your past made others appear. So basically, you're saying that these others were created by our mental immaturity. <laughs> that makes us sound pretty lame. But if we made them, we can take them down, too. I know the two of you can handle it, but be careful. So if our consciousness is made, is this other an illusion? It sure looks real. I'll do it! Check it! As long as your brain thinks so, it's the same as if it was. We have to fight it.
Let's regroup now. Let's regroup. Good. Let's regroup. This is the old OSF hospital on that day in 2009. It's an entanglement. Yeah. I don't understand it, but I can feel it. This is definitely it. If we want to successfully unravel this, then I'm betting that we have to use the red strings, our power. Yes. I feel it too. We should be able to make this work. Ah, another one! Let's hold it off while we unravel the entanglement. All right. Don't I know we can do it. Right, you can tell? Yeah, right. Let's go. The oil is making me sluggish. Let's keep going. It's still fun. We did it. Let's keep going. That was close. Run, youngster. That's... Check me. Seems to be the spot. This will make the Kunad Gate disappear. Hey, Kasane. That day, I never got the chance to thank you properly. So, thank you for saving me. What? That came out of nowhere. You were the one that saved me 11 years ago at the hospital, right? I remember it perfectly now. I used to be a dud, and then all of a sudden I had powers. My power awakening? I think it was because you shared yours with me. What? Powers aren't something you can just share. Yeah, I know what I'm saying sounds silly, but if it were possible, it was thanks to meeting you that day that I'm still alive, and have reached my goal of getting into the OSF. That's what I think, so... Thanks for saving me. You're welcome. Is that what I'm supposed to say? <laughs> you look totally confused, but that's okay. I think it's unraveled now. Everyone is probably worried about us. Mother's power. I can still feel it. So, there's more than one entanglement? If so, it's simple. We just have to unravel all of them. Right. Okay, let's go. We did unravel that entanglement, right? I think so. But something still feels off. So you feel it too. Something's bothering me.
There's another one. Is that 50 years in the future? That should be gone. <gasps> this is the other that attacked Yui <laughs> This future should now no longer exist. Have you ever thought about what you would do if you could travel to the past and change history? You mean, after we remove the Kunat Gate? Yeah. The ability to travel through time freely. That's the true power of the Red Strings. Right. If I could go back and save my sister, I'd be lying if I said I hadn't thought of it. I wanted to save Naomi. I just kept thinking there must be a way over and over again. Every now and then I'm reminded that I won't see her again, and it rattles me. Sure. If I could change history so Naomi wouldn't turn into another, if that was something I could actually do, I don't think I'd do it. Why? Because if you change the past, no one knows how it will affect everything after that. If we were in a different platoon, if we weren't scouted, if I was never adopted, is changing the past until I get the results I want really saving Naomi? And not just Naomi. It's not right to go back and change the lives of everyone in the world just for my own selfish desires. Yeah, I guess it's not right to mess with everyone else just to fulfill your wants. It's painful, and there's a lot of suffering we have to bear. But it's a burden we must carry. Sorry, it was weird of me to bring up. That being said, I am glad I asked. Because I was thinking the same thing. I'm relieved you agree. Oh. But this mindset is thanks to you. I've learned so much. The same goes for me. I think my old self would have come to a different conclusion. I mean... I don't think you would have even talked to me for this long, back when you first joined. You know, that's not... <sighs> okay, perhaps you're right about that. This is Mom's... There's still an entanglement? But all the time periods we travel to... No, now's not the time to think about it. Can you keep going? I'll be okay. I'm probably just a little tired from using my brain too much. We should hurry. You only travel to those two times, right? Yes, I think those are the only ones. Isn't that... The Sumeragi Crest. That's it. This is the image I saw at the start. Right. Yakumo Sumeragi's crest. It seems like a time entanglement appeared then. <laughs> what? How? Former Major General Karin! 
they're going to keep coming. We need to unravel the entanglement. Not yet! Don't fail! Okay, that should... <sighs> Yuito? This is bad. I don't think I can take much more either. So... Did we do it? That should be all of them, right? Probably, but something doesn't feel right. Karin and Yakumo Sumeragi... What happened to them? <sighs> Damn it. I'm blacking... Yuito, Kasane! Mom? Mother... Where am I? Oh good, you're awake. It seems like we made it back. What's going on? The Kunad Gate... why hasn't it disappeared? Well... Good job, you two. It's all okay now. What? But... Mother, we unraveled the entanglements, so why? <sighs> <sighs> Leave the rest to me. Wh what? Thank you for growing up so strong. You've made a lot of wonderful friends. Those connections are much more valuable than any red string. Treasure them for the rest of your life. M mother <laughs> Mom. You can't go back to the past. If you go back, Toketsu will. It has to be done. 
Forgive me. The longer I remain here, the more painful it will be. <laughs> no, hold on! There's still so much that I need to say! Mother! Yuito, Kasane, live on. Knowing you're happy is all that I could ask for. So today is the day. I may give you my brain. But you can't have my memories of the future. Kaito. Yuito. Kasane. The body has been confirmed as the target, Wakana. Current theory for cause of death is cerebral overload due to a malfunction in the personality rehabilitation device. We believe an irreversible memory wipe was conducted. There is significant damage to the memory regions in her brain, following protocol and retrieving her brain. I see. There was an entanglement from when Mom time-traveled. Mother. She explained it to us earlier when the two of you were gone. The Kunad Gate wouldn't disappear as long as she was still present in this time. We have a message she left for the two of you. Let me send it to you now. Kana knew from the start that she was causing an entanglement. I'm sorry. I know this hits the two of you harder than anyone else, and I'm here crying. <sighs> that uneasy feeling we got when we unraveled the entanglement 11 years ago was because Mom's entanglement still remained. Wakana wasn't from this time period, so her situation was different than yours. Hey, um... Don't be so down. I'm not saying that because I'm worried about you. I said that because it affects platoon morale. I know she would have wanted to talk to the both of you some more, but she thought spending more time with you would only make things more painful. Apparently, the entanglement will unravel when Wakana returns to the past and dies like she did in history.
She held back her feelings so she could part with you with no regrets. She's a great person. That's strange. Wakana has returned, so how come it didn't disappear? Have all the entanglements truly been unraveled? All the entanglements we felt we unraveled. The ones eleven years ago, fifty years in the future, and the one during Yakumo Sumeragi's time period. What? What does Yakumo Sumeragi's time period have to do with anything? I think one formed when we witnessed Yakumo's assassination. What are you talking about? Yakumo was severely injured in an accident, but he wasn't assassinated. We don't really understand it either, but we saw Yakumo Sumeragi being killed by Karin. What did you say? We were busy dealing with the entanglement, but yeah, there's no doubt in my mind that that was former Major General Karin. He copied Kasane's power. Yuito, if he also copied your power. But he didn't copy my... He could have time-traveled by resonating Kasane's power with mine. So it hasn't disappeared because of the entanglement Karin created when he traveled back to Yakumo's time period? But the two of you couldn't find an entanglement. How do you expect to unravel something you can't find? Karin can unravel his own entanglement. Yes, exactly. The only thing we can do is take Karin to the Kronos Terminal and have him unravel the entanglement himself. Wataru, can you check Karin's location? I figured you'd ask, so I've been working on it. But I've got nothing. I can't find him at all. It's like he's disappeared. Supposing that he's traveled to Yakumo's time period, that would mean he's in the past. That's where you're going to find him. Are you too sure the people you saw were really Karin and Yakumo? We're sure. We could see their faces clearly. Actually, we only saw Karin's face. But that was Yakumo. I mean, he had the same mask on as all the depictions of him. Ah, uh, yes, that's it, the mask. That explains everything. Kagura, explain. Whoa, Sugumi, calm down. So, you know how Yakumo started wearing the mask because of the injuries he sustained? Rumor was, sometime after the accident, he suddenly stopped appearing in front of people and his whole personality just changed. Whole personality changed? You're not suggesting... The real Yakumo was assassinated by Karin from the future, and Karin took his place by putting on the mask? It doesn't matter. Either way, we still need to travel back to 2,000 years ago to check. Actually... No, we might not have to travel at all. You all saw my brother's video, right? Don't you remember what he said? Yakumo Sumeragi is alive! What are you... He is asleep, deep beneath Suo. Even now, he is waiting for his revenge! Right. Cold sleep. Just like Kagero. If Yakumo is in cold sleep under Suo, then we can find out the truth by meeting him directly. If former Major General Karin replaced him, then he'll be the one down there in cold sleep. I'm not entirely certain as to why he did what he did, but we can talk to him and have him help us unravel the entanglement. Do we know where he's sleeping, though? I mean, Arahabaki is the only area I can think of that's under Suo. I mean, Sumeraki Tomb is the first place I thought of where Yakumo would be. Do you think he would really be in such a heavily trafficked place, though? How about it, Yuito? Yeah, that makes sense. But I've never even been inside the building before. The head of the family is responsible for watching over Sumeragi Tomb. I might be able to find something out if I talk to my brother. The Chief! Do you think he'll listen to us? Actually... I've been trying to reach my brother's terminal, but I'm not getting through. There's a chance he might have blocked me. Wataru, can you ask Major General Fubuki to talk to my brother? I doubt he'd refuse a call from a Major General. Okay, leave it to me. 
I just don't know how soon I'll get a response. Want to stop by our hideout then? I'm sure Yuito and Kasane could use the rest. Good idea. It would be smart to rest while we can. Thanks, Gemma. All right, let's head back. Welcome back. I messaged Major General Fubuki. He said it might take some time to get in touch with the Chief. Thanks, Wataru. I also asked about Major General Karin, but apparently Major General Fubuki doesn't know anything either. I see. Then I guess he really is in the past. We don't have any other leads at the moment, so let's hope he's in Sumeragi Tomb. <laughs> 